So the Urban Thinkers Campus is uh, an initiative of the UN Habitat with the World Urban Campaign and the objective is to find active ways of actually implementing the new urban agenda. Um, so the new urban agenda is a commitment, international commitment to actually make cities fair for everyone and finding ways of actually representing that into the physical space. Urban planning is critical to public health. If we plan the spaces correctly and get people actually moving um, and into an active lifestyle, we will improve their, their health. Um, it's been shown um, time and time again that an active lifestyle um, improves longevity of health and also um, not only longevity but the quality of health that people have um, during their, their lifespan. The Urban Thinkers Campus is going to be held this year in Cairns and Townsville. Although they are both in the tropics, they are quite different in terms of uh, both in terms of the physical space, the surroundings, how they look like, in terms of greenery and um, and its, its landscape itself, and also. Uh, Townsville is located in the dry tropics and Keynes is located in the wet tropics and so the way we plan the cities should actually respond to that because the way we can be active in cities is different depending on that. In many cities we plan uh, based on, you know, we have a lot of pressures in terms of housing prices and where do people actually live at the moment and we are being very responsive to the market instead of responsive to the future. Um, and I, I like the saying that, you know, uh, scientists look into how things are and designers should look into how things should be and we should actually be taking into account all these this changes. Um, you know, data-driven planning. So, you know, let's have a look at the health data and let's have a look at the health problems that the communities in Townsville and Cairns are facing and get that to actually drive the decisions behind the planning processes that take place. And so we just need to get more uh, informed input from a health perspective into the planning process. We want to involve government, community, professionals, academics, um, our students, we want to come. We have um, a special guest coming who is uh, uh, Charles Wolfe from the United States. Uh, he's coming because he's, he has a, a expertise in public consultation and actually empowering communities to, make, to be heard. So he has his own methodologies and he's going to be working with us. We know there are a couple of other um, academics coming from Brisbane because they work with cities and ways of implementing these initiatives um, but it is largely focused on Keynes and Townsville communities so the council will be involved, um, JCU staff, we are hoping to have some professionals involved as well um, and it will probably be our aim is to have around 70, 70 people in each campus and one thing that tends to happen is that um, when we go to these workshops they are very focused on one subject and or one type of audience and then you cannot come up with an action because they don't agree in what should be done. So our aim is to actually bring different people from different groups and come up with what each group can actually do to implement locally the new urban agenda.